it's Mal from Sparkly Belly. After I posted the five panel mermaid skirt DIY, the number one question has been whether I put a waistband at the top of my mermaid skirt. My answer is generally no because a waistband can easily cause a muffin top. But if you want to make a mermaid skirt out of thin or weak material that easily stretches out, then you can get a gap at the back. Then what do you do? In this video, you will see what to do to prevent the gap at the back from happening and maintain the smooth look of the skirt. So let's get started. To fit your skirt well, you need elastic. Use elastic that is at least 2.5 cm or 1 inch wide. Here I'm using a wide 4 cm or 1.5 inch wide elastic. And pins, thread and needle. It's best to use strong thread like craft and button thread. If you use button thread, color availability is limited, so use one that is closest to the color of your costume. I'm using a white one here so you can see what I'm doing. So to prevent the gap and muffin top, we will insert the elastic only at the back of the skirt. First, place your skirt flat making sure that the front and back centers are lined up. Place pins at about 8 cm or 3 inches from both sides and make sure they are at the same distance from the center seam at the back. Next, take your elastic. Place it about 5 mm or a quarter of an inch or so from the edge. Pin it in place. Take your threaded needle and secure one end of the elastic by stitching along the edge. I'm stitching in a spiral fashion here. Take a tiny bit of fabric so the stitches don't show much on the front side of the skirt. Then bring the needle through the elastic and repeat. If your skirt comes with lining, then just sew it onto the lining. Once the elastic is secured, we'll create an elastic casing with the thread. First, take a tiny bit of fabric, then take the needle and thread over to the other side of the elastic. Then hold it at an angle at a point about 5 millimeters or a quarter of an inch to the left of where we started. Take a tiny bit of fabric again, coming out in a backward direction. Then bring your needle over to the other side of the elastic and repeat. Key is to not sew the elastic. The elastic should be able to move and stretch in the thread casing. Once you reach the mark, make a knot and put the skirt on. Then pull the elastic to see how tight you want the elastic. Then I would mark it with a pin. And finally, cut the excess elastic and secure the end of the elastic. And that's it! By inserting elastic only at the back, you can avoid muffin tops and still make your skirt waist tighter. You can use the exact same trick for your bedla belt that is a bit loose on you. I hope you like this trick and if you want more tips and DIY ideas on belly dance costume making, please visit sparklybelly.com and sign up for the newsletter. All newsletter subscribers get access to a special page where I share free patterns and resources. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!